Are you a Christian mom who's currently running a business or maybe looking to start one, but you're just not sure if it's the right thing to do? Do you find yourself wanting to be the person that God created you to be and you're just wondering if you might be missing it somehow? I get it. My name is Morgan Vermouth and I am a stay-at-home mom of three boys ages four and under and I run a business from home. I definitely have struggled with some of those same feelings and questions and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing briefly a few things that have helped me overcome those concerns and really just answer those bigger questions on, am I even doing exactly what God has called me to do? If you like what I have to share today, I wanna to encourage you to come join my Facebook group for moms. It's for working moms that are working from home or maybe you haven't started a business from home but you are hoping to get started soon. There's a lot of encouragement and some tips and tricks on how to do life on the daily as a working mom who's at home with her kids. I'll put the or I'll put the link inside the description and then the top comments below so that you won't miss it. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is my struggle with this thought of, am I fulfilling my calling and duties as a mom and as a homemaker when I also want to work outside of my motherhood. And that was something I really struggled with. I felt guilty and ashamed for even wanting to do something more, but yet I also felt the Lord leading me in that direction. And so I, I felt conflicted. What I found is that a lot of those feelings of guilt and shame were really just distractions that the enemy was trying to bring into my life. And I shared this in a previous video that I released, so I don't wanna say all the same things again. Um, but I do wanted to acknowledge that some of that shame you might be feeling, I, I want to challenge you. Are you feeling that when you are doing other things or is it just when you're trying to work from home or considering pursuing something outside of motherhood? Like for instance, I would feel guilty when I sat down to do some work in my business, but I wouldn't feel guilty if I used that same amount of time to watch a movie or to phone a friend. I sound like I'm on who wants to be a millionaire. I want to phone a friend. And so I found that a lot of that guilt and shame, oops, I just kicked my camera. We're just going to roll with it. Um, uh, that a lot of that guilt and shame was really just only around running my business. And the crazy thing is, although it's really not that crazy, is that I really did feel that God was calling me to do this business. So when God has placed a calling on your life, it might be running a business, it might be fulfilling um, something in the ministry, um, like maybe you are entering a new position at church, maybe it's a volunteer position, maybe it's official, like an official paid position, I don't know. Maybe you're a musician and a singer and you're about to go into stepping into your calling as as a musician and a singer even though you're still a mom, um, a lot of times when God has placed a calling on your life, obviously motherhood, I think is the ultimate calling. I, and I've heard a lot of people say that. I think it's a commonly accepted uh, belief that being a mom is the ultimate calling. And it really is. But there's nothing wrong. There is no shame in wanting to do something in addition to that. And a lot of times the enemy wants to put a stop to that. And so he will really just get you to hone in on those feelings of shame and guilt. And so I just want to call that out for what it is and give you permission to let it go. Um, because sometimes we moms just need somebody to say like, it's okay to just dismiss those feelings. But that said, it is important to make sure that you have your priorities straight. Because while I do believe that God has called me to run my business, I also know that it's easy for me to get really just encompassed with the work of my business and kind of sometimes neglect other things. <laughs> Not neglect my children, but maybe neglect cooking the meals for the family. I'm not saying that you have to cook every single meal. Maybe that's not even something that's a huge priority for your family, but I've got a house full of boys and one man, my husband. And so cooking a meal for them is super important. Like the way to their hearts is through their stomach. And so, um, so that's something that's important to me is to make sure I'm cooking meals for my family. Not every meal. I'm not that awesome, but, um, but just kind of prioritizing that. And so it's important to make sure that you have your priorities too, because if you're anything like me, if you're ambitious and you love to work, then it could be really easy to slip into focusing too much on your work or too much on the ministry and not focusing on the priority of ministering to your family's needs. Does that make sense? So 
yes, it's okay to let go of that guilt and shame, but make sure that you also have a system of checks and balances set up with maybe your husband or with a close friend or your mom or somebody that can just help keep you accountable, a business partner or whatever, and say, listen, I, I do believe this is the calling on my life, but I want to know that I'm still fulfilling my role as the wife and the mom of this home. And so I need you to just kind of help keep me in check, make sure I don't get too wrapped up in my work. Now, granted, there are seasons that you can hustle or seasons that you just need to be more present on the job. And maybe that's when you you have a babysitter helping with your family and there's, or your husband's covering for you or your mom or your sister or a friend, whatever. I'm not saying that you can't have spurts of or seasons when you are, working extra hard. There are moments that that has to happen. But in general, it's important that we make sure we keep our priorities straight. And it is a priority to be there for our families, to be the present wife and mom. You don't have to have it all together, but you do need to be together with your family at some point. And so um, unless God has specifically spoken to you in a different way, I think it's just a basic biblical concept to make sure that you're still there for your family. And that leads me into my next point. Know your season. You need to know what is this season asking of me? Because there are definitely seasons in life that you can be more focused on your work. And then there's seasons that sometimes that work has to to just be set aside so that you could be there for your kids or for your husband. You might be going through um, something as a family that's very difficult. And so maybe, I'm not saying you have to quit your work, but maybe you just need to take a break for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. I don't know. If you're experiencing a trauma as a family, you need to make sure you're present with your family. The job can wait. It's important that you are there for your family and for um, and just tending to the hearts of your children and your spouse. That is your ultimate calling. And we're talking about being, you know, a Christian mom in the business world. And sometimes it's easy to mix our priorities, which is kind of what I was touching on a moment ago, but it's just important to know your season. And so what that might look like is you've sat down, you've planned your work for the week and tomorrow morning, your son is running a fever and that's something you didn't expect. It wasn't something you anticipated. And now you have to adjust your life either by getting some help from someone who's close to you that can help you with your son or saying, okay, I I can't do this work right now. I have to make sure I'm taking care of my sick child. And I mean, a lot of times um, if you're working from home, some of that work can be done with your child on your lap or you could be sitting next to them on the couch if you have a laptop. So it's okay to be creative, but know the season. For example, I work from home. I have a network marketing business that I run and Last year, I had my third son, and so um, that wasn't the season for me to be going for like this super huge rank up in the company that I was with when I'm pushing the baby out and (laughs) recovering in postpartum and in those very, very early days with the baby. I mean, I guess some moms out there do it, but I had to know my season, and for me, it was important to enjoy that season of just that postpartum window with my newborn and to really just establish a good relationship with that baby. So I didn't work as much. It didn't mean that I didn't work at all, but I definitely cut back on my workload. And when he was older, I picked it back up and resumed my work. So it's just good to know the season that you're in and what is that season asking of you. And sometimes it conflicts with our heart's desires. Sometimes we really, really, really want to grow our business or Um, just climb this corporate ladder that we're working from home. And sometimes uh, the Lord will ask of us to put that down or to let go of some of that, um, that super ambitious desire to surrender that to him, maybe not fully let it go, but surrender it to the Lord and, and be present with our families and help meet the needs. Maybe our child is acting out and just really needs some more correction in this window of time. And so Um, So it's just really important to understand that not only do we need to know our season, but to acknowledge that sometimes it is going to conflict with the desires of our heart. And it just gives us all the more reason to go take it back to the Lord and to continue surrendering to him because ultimately he has the best plan in mind for our lives. And if he's given you this job, then he wants you to do it. 
but he also has given you the responsibility of being wife and mom. And so he wants you to do that too. So just knowing what is God asking of me right now today for my family. Now, this is not an excuse to just be like, I don't feel like I'm supposed to work today. Like take it with a grain of salt. I'm not saying that <laughs> that you can never work or that every day is whimsical and there's no discipline at all. I'm just saying generally just know the season that you're in. And I hope that makes sense. Okay, well, those are my few tips that I just wanted to share with you as a Christian mom and business owner. I hope that it makes sense. I hope that you got some value out of it. And if you did, if you like what I had to say and you're interested in learning some more and diving into some deeper topics as a businesswoman and as a mom, then I want to invite you over to my Facebook group for moms. Once again, I will put the link in the description below and also in the top comment. And we're really just going to dive deeper into some of these topics and have those live Q and A sessions, and I would love to hear some questions from you, so that you know I could answer them to the best of my ability, and we can have some great, supportive, encouraging conversations over there. So I hope to see you over there. Until then, I hope that you have a great day today. Bye for now.